Good morning, all my rural Xers out there. This is Eric the Rural Xer here with you. Just outside of Woodstock, Georgia, over here, actually near Town Lake Parkway, which is a big area of, of Woodstock. But anyway, we are outside of an old, what used to be an abandoned, uh, I think it started life as a Revco, but then went abandoned after several years of being in business. Of course, everybody knows that Revco got bought out by Rite Aid, and then Rite Aid ended up being bought out by Walgreens. And uh, there's actually a Walgreens already in the area. It's a few miles from here, uh, over towards 575, I-575. But anyway, this one got closed out, and it was closed for several years. And I was actually over here a few years ago and made some video clips of the place when it was completely abandoned. Now, since then, it has gotten repurposed, divided up into several storefronts, one of them being a Jimmy John's, another one being a physical therapy uh, place, and then another one is an urgent care center, which is in the main storefront of what used to be Rite Aid. But, of course, I'll have that uh, video clips of the old abandoned place here in just a minute. But anyway, we're going to get out and just look around here real quick. This is a, a business now, several businesses, three or four of them in this storefront. And you'll see the before and after of what it was, what it used to be when it was abandoned, and what it is now. So come along and join me, if you will. Here we are at the front of the building, uh, the abandoned Eckerd slash Rite Aid, and yes, I know I was calling it Revco, but it's actually Eckerd uh, that this building used to be, this drugstore. Of course, it got bought out by Rite Aid and then by Walgreens. So we are looking now at the front of the building, what, what has now become the Urgent Care Center. Uh, in the later footage, as you'll see uh, a little bit, but we're walking on up here to the front entrance to take a uh, sneak peek inside uh, just to look around a little bit and a lot of this uh, storefront sides and everything has changed quite drastically uh, since they've redid it uh, a lot of the aesthetics are quite a bit different but it's very nice as you'll see see there's a lot of dust on the windows and stuff I'm trying to get my uh, camera to focus on the inside there we go uh, we're looking around on the inside uh, as you can see the uh, I've still got a, a lot of scarring from the uh, previous shelves that were there on the floor but otherwise it's in, looks like it's in pretty good shape still and uh, now the front section here is where that urgent care is at. It only goes back in there so far. And then the other, other uh, storefronts are along this side right here to the left, as you'll see in the later footage. But um, we're just walking around, along through here um, towards the other side of the store, through uh, towards the <clears throat> drive through You'll have to excuse me, I got a lot of drainage and, and I'm having to clear my throat quite a bit. Just walking on over here. Uh, I was using a different camera at the time. Uh, it's a good camera, it just doesn't have the, the stabilization control that my phone camera has. I use it a lot of times now instead of using my big camera, the Canon uh, M50. But anyway, as you can see right here, this is the, there's uh, overhangs where the um, drive-throughs are. Must have been pretty nice back in the day when they used these. If uh, one was occupied, you could just drive on up to the next one. And so it kind of, I'm sure it got a lot of people in and out of there a lot faster that way. This has all been taken down, as you'll see uh, as well. There's the other side of the store where the storefronts are now. This is facing uh, Rose Creek Drive, and there's uh, three or four little small storefronts right there. 
and this is the back of the store. Uh, this is where Jimmy John's is right here on the corner. And they've actually got a drive-through um, along the, that corner over there. They actually have a, a drive-through window that you can um, place orders and pick them up right there, just around the corner on the other side. But this is the back side. Here's the old, what used to be the Refco and then a Rite Aid sign right here. But as you can tell, it is um, completely different now. We'll walk over here. I can't hardly see it because of the tree. Uh, but it's a um, walk-in urgent care, urgent team and physical therapy and balance centers, Jimmy John's and Hot Works. But there's the, the sign what it used to be and then what it is now. Here's the front of the old drugstore and you can tell um, it still has that resemblance to uh, Rite Aid um, and you'll definitely see the, the similarities in it uh, from the old video footage that I, I got when it, when it was still abandoned and all. Of course now it is the uh, walk-in urgent care. I don't know if it's open today. This is Saturday. You'd think it would be. I don't know, there's no cars out here in the parking lot, but there is. Um, cars over here, quite busy over here at these other three uh, businesses along the side here. And um, I'm trying to stay out of everybody's way. I'm trying to stay out of the uh, road so I won't get run over people coming through here and all. Uh, that Jimmy John seems to be fairly busy over there. Uh, it's a pretty good place to eat. And uh, I've, I've eaten, not at this one, but I have eaten at other locations and they're, they're very good. But uh, they, they turn, uh, divided it up into three or four different uh, sections here and uh, repurposed the whole store, uh, similar to what they did to an old KFC up in uh, Jasper, where we live. Uh, they divide it up into two or three businesses and uh, the front part is an actual restaurant now. Uh, name of it is if I can remember <laughs> can't can't hardly remember um, shoot anyway it's a restaurant and then the back part of it is um, AT&T is an authorized dealer not AT&T themselves but an authorized dealer and uh, of course they sell sell and service cell phones and mobile devices and all but here's the front of it and there seems to be a car over there but here's what used to be the uh, pharmacy drive through over here there was two windows and I've got video footage of that as well and it looks like they're still there not a whole awful lot to see over here but uh, oh and there is a drive through over here for Jimmy John's. I didn't know that. But that. As you can see, there is a board up there. I'll zoom in on it. Right there. But, uh, yep. There's your former... Former... Revco, then Rite Aid, and then Abandoned Pharmacy. But there you go. We'll walk back over here and get one more shot of the. Uh, of the side of the building where all these storefronts are. They've, they've changed the, the, the side of it. It used to be fairly plain along it. And uh, they've added these storefronts which made it very nice looking and all. So anyway, there you go. Well, there's our look at the old Revco slash Rite Aid Pharmacy. Uh, that used to be abandoned and has now been repurposed into uh, several different storefronts uh, including a uh, urgent care center and oh by the way the name of that 
restaurant that I was trying to think of a few minutes ago was Buffalo Luke's. <laughs> uh, they sell wings and hamburgers and, and different things like that. It's a fairly popular restaurant uh, among the um, uh, local town folks in Jasper. It's uh, very similar to Zaxby's uh, type of restaurant. Now. But anyway, but this brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a, a thumbs up, a like, a uh, comment on it. And uh, for similar content, uh, please consider uh, subscribing to the channel, if you would. And with that, we're going to get on out of here and get on down the road and get us some lunch. So I hope you have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you in our next video.